Hi, my name is Dr. Allison Wiedeneft, and I'm the Biologics Coordinator for NOMS. Thank you for helping with the NOMS Sheep 2024 study. This recording will review the GI Parasite Composite Kit contents, demonstrate sample collection, and go over shipment procedures. The fecal samples submitted in this kit will undergo testing to look for common gastrointestinal parasites found in sheep. It is important to sample sheep that have not been dewormed in the previous 60 days because a subset of the samples will be tested for anthelmintic resistance. Our number one priority at NOMS is to ensure that you and the sheep are safe. If you or the producer are not comfortable collecting from a specific sheep, then do not collect the sample. To minimize repeat handling and animal stress, it is recommended you collect all needed samples from one animal before moving on to the next animal. This kit contains paperwork that includes instructions, a submission form, labels, and a shipping air bill, two Ziploc bags, two Whirlpack bags, two tongue depressors, two ice packs, two liner bags, one to line the box, and one to use as a trash bag, a pen, and a medium insulated cooler. We will ship lubricant, aluminum foil, and plastic wrap to coordinators for distribution. You will need to provide your own gloves. You will need all of these items for this collection. Collect samples Sunday through Wednesday to ensure that they can be shipped to the lab and processed in the appropriate time. You may collect samples from 10 or more sheep or lambs that have not received dewormer in the last 60 days. These samples will be submitted as one composite sample. Fresh samples are vital. Please collect directly from the rectum or immediately off the ground while the samples are still warm. Try to collect from sheep that you think have worms and do not exclude diarrhea samples. From each sheep, collect eight to 10 fecal pellets. If you are also going to submit an enteric microbe kit, then you will want to collect enough pellets from each sheep for both kits. The enteric microbe kit requires an additional 10 pellets per sheep. To collect fecal samples, apply lubricating jelly to the glove before entering the rectum. Place one or two fingers inside the rectum and gently stroke the rectum to help encourage defecation. Place all of the collected pellets from all of the sheep in the same Whirlpack bag to form a composite sample. Aim to fill at least half of the Whirlpack bag with pellets. Try to include approximately the same quantity of pellets from each sheep so that the sample is representative of all sampled sheep. After you have collected your samples from 10 or more sheep, you will make a cigar-shaped composite with the fecal pellets. With the samples in the bag, close the bag by rolling it down and squish the contents until you have a soft, uniform composite of feces. If needed, add a very small amount of water to the bag to moisten the feces, making it easier to work with. Lay out a 12-inch sheet of aluminum foil and then lay out a 12-inch sheet of plastic wrap on top of the foil. Using the tongue depressor, dump the contents of feces onto the sheet of plastic wrap, fold the plastic wrap over the feces, and knead it like dough until the sample is in a cigar shape. Wrap the cigar shape sample tightly in the plastic wrap, then wrap it tightly in the aluminum foil. Place the cigar shaped composite into a clean whirl pack and place the whirl pack inside of a clean Ziploc bag, again excluding all air from the bag. Fill in the NOMS ID on the sample label and attach it to the Ziploc bag with the sample in it. The NOMS ID is a four digit ID that was assigned to the operation and provided to you by your state coordinator. Place the bagged and labeled composite sample into the liner bag and tie it shut. Keep the sample cool with ice packs, but it is important that the sample does not freeze. Fill out the pink NOMS GI Parasite Composite Submission Form. This form simply asks for the NOMS ID, date, kit ID, and the number of animals sampled. Be sure to include this form with the samples when packing the kit for shipping. A digital collection record is required for each operation. Please review the digital collection record video on our website. Please keep the samples cool and ship them within 24 hours of collection. Samples collected on a Wednesday must be shipped the same day. Do not freeze the samples. Insert the ice pack in the bottom of the cooler. Leave the small absorbent sheet in the cooler to absorb any potential leaks. Place the liner bag with the previously bagged and labeled composite sample into the cooler. Close the lid of the insulated cooler box. Place the pink GI Parasite Composite Submission Form on top of the cooler lid and secure the outer box with tape. Affix the provided shipping label to the outside of the box. The samples will be shipped to Louisiana State University. 
My email address is included in the kit paperwork. Feel free to email me any sampling questions. Testing results will be returned to the producers two to three months after sampling.